This is what some of the kits I have in my stash. And I'm gonna open one of them. Look at this one. Some of my favorites from my childhood. Bought some of the kits that I built and destroyed and blew up when I was a kid. I rebought some of them for the nostalgia, like these right here. And I rebought some of them that I screwed up, but some of my favorites with great memories, like this Lamborghini 120th Testers kit. It's probably Testers slash, uh, slash Fujimi. But today I'm gonna open up a vintage kit, one of these right here. Some of the ones that I've had the best memories from, building and destroying or messing up, but still I had so much fun building them. Here's another good one. These metal kits. Here goes. The monogram Days of Thunder Hardy's Lumina Stock Car. Remember this movie? Classic. I have had great memories building this kit. Back then, Monogram was one of my favorite brands. They were pretty detailed. They were affordable, easy to find in stores like KB. Look at that. Pretty detailed for back then. I mean, this is many, many years ago. But I had a fun time building it. I remember there were many parts in this kit, and it was very different from anything else I've built before. Let's see, how many pieces are in this kit? Doesn't say, but orange, clear, and plated parts. Kit includes detailed chassis and interior, engine with molded ignition wires, roll cage, racing tires, lots of fun stuff. Let's check it out. Mm, look at that. Perfect 90s neon colors. Look at these rubber tires. Pretty old, pretty stiff, old school, but this is how they were. Look at all this orange. This chrome, I remember this chrome, it was okay, not bad, not bad, better than any paint that we had back then. Clear parts, oh, pretty thin actually, pretty thin. Tricky painting these surrounds though. A monogram questionnaire. Here are the decals. Pretty good condition for being this old, this kit. It's from 1990. I think it's from 1990. Many years ago. Can't even calculate. Here are the instructions I'll go through later. Here's the first sprue here. Here's the hood. Here's uh, some holes for the hood pins. I think that's a firewall, I think, or a fuel cell. I'm not sure. A oh, firewall right here. Light up dash. Maybe. <laughs> not sure. Racing seat. I like these um, plastic. Hoses, engine hoses, love it. You don't get a lot of orange, especially neon orange 
plastic sprues anymore. There's the instrument panel here, all the gauges, some suspension pieces. And this is pretty good for back then, especially as a kid. This was probably my most detailed kit as a kid. I mean, look at all the components just for the engine and the suspension right here. That's a lot. That's why I had great memories for this one. See, look at these ho hoses. I remember painting this and putting this in. This is really cool. Roll cage here. That was really neat. Some body pieces, some bumpers. Look at this. Nice, huh? This is really cool. That was very different from any of the kits, other kits that I've built when I was little. Very different. And NASCAR, um, a stock car, right? It's pretty cool. There's the chassis. Not bad. Yeah, more. I think this is part of the roll cage. Here's some of the the transmission components. All right, and here's the body. <laughs> Look at that. No seams, no doors, because you go in through the window. Looks like some scratches right here. I'm gonna have to sand that out. Pretty cool, huh? Look at all that orange. I kind of like the orange. What do you think? I haven't built a model that was neon orange, or at least not since when I was a kid. So that should be pretty cool to try to do. Oops, here's a loose piece. Don't, don't lose that. Here are the instructions. See, back then, if there were any missing parts, you write to them in Illinois, include the kit number, part number, and return address, and they'll send you the missing or broken part. Probably just missing, but I think I've done, done that one time. <clears throat> Here's the engine assembly. One, two, three, four, five pieces. Here's some more. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Look at this, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Let's say about 18 pieces just for the engine alone. That's not including some of these headers and these other pipes. That's pretty good. A lot of kits only have like, like eight max. Suspension. Here's the pedals. Side cage, very cool. Roll bar, steering shaft, more roll bars, racing seat, interior. Look at it. Look at all these parts just for the interior. I love these air hoses. Love it. Yep. Fuel cell. See? More bars. Look at that. Very cool. Very cool. Yep. Steering wheel. Dash, windshield support, look at that, shock assembly, look at all this that goes into 
the suspension of the car. So many pieces for the engine, for the interior, for the suspension components, for the roll bar. It's pretty neat. From 1990. Look at this. What kit, especially back then, had 41 steps? Not a lot. Monogram was pretty good. They had some good kits and bad kits, I guess, but this is a pretty good one. Look at this. There's more engine accoutrements. Look at that. Shocks. The wheels, which look kind of generic, but I mean, I'm not gonna ding them for that. Back then, all, all these, all the tires for these kits were pretty generic. Hard, rubber, plastic, remember? Pieces of the body, all the clear pieces, windshields, bam, popped it on. Lastly, the hood pins, step 41. And then, of course, all the decals. Very good, huh? Tell me what you think about this kit and if I should build it, you know? I mean, right now I'm kind of collecting it for nostalgia, but let me know.